So Lorenzian space in in ordinary space time. Yeah, I mean, so, so this this is the point I brought up at the entang at that uh, emergent space time discussion, right? That that um, the, you know Lorenzian spaces are nice because they're time extended versions of Riemannian manifolds. There isn't, as far as I know, a mathematical. You know, I asked this to Sean and Faye and people, and not, you know, they didn't have answers. There isn't, as far as I know, a, a, a sort of time extended version of a Hilbert space. Add this to our list of projects. Right. Okay. Um, again, I, I, I felt like this was a project that's kind of hard to do without a certain amount of technical infrastructure that doesn't yet exist. Well, I know, but somebody could think about that question of whether there's a Right. There may be an obvious toy Hilbert space that has this temporal extension thing. Right, but if you had a time extended Hilbert space, then you could define a conformal structure on it, so Indeed. that again, you know, it was you you, you were limited to to you know forty five degree entanglement codes. Indeed, and absolutely. Um, that's and, a, yeah. Sorry. Yes, that's a good point. Right, and and so um, right, and so, but then the point I was making was that actually, okay, so then in CQM. Your picture, you know, your, your Hilbert spaces get replaced with category, or you, you know, you replace uh, you, the, the normal picture of Hilbert spaces with this FD Hilbert category of finite dimensional Hilbert spaces. Um, and so then I would assume that the same object we get when thinking about kind of complexity theory informed yes. uh, versions of categories would be the, exactly the object you would get by taking, a, by taking a, an entanglement speed informed version of a Hilbert space and categorifying it. Yes, I agree. Right, but, but by the way, this, this general project relevant for the winter school would be essentially take any, you know, we know how to take Euclidean space and time extend it to get Lorentzian and Minkowski space, right? right? What other spaces? I don't even know for complex projective space or something like this. What is the time extended version? Is that twister space or something? The time extended version? I don't really know. Uh, oh, so, so a, a complex projective space is already time extended in, in, in the twister space picture. Um, and and, the, and the whole the, the the purpose of the Penrose trans you know it's, it's quite interesting from a mathematical standpoint. So when, if you if you take uh, you know a complex projective force space and you apply something like the John transform or the Radon transform to it, you get back to a real space, uh, but that space has a weird metric signature that doesn't actually align with with the Lorentzian signature. And the the Penrose transform was specifically invented to fix the metric signature, so you got distinguished uh, space and time directions. From, I from see. So, in other words, it's a decomposition of complex projective space into something which looks like space plus time. It, it, exactly. Yeah. So, so like with a, if you just did a radon transform, you would get a plus plus minus minus metric signature, and the um, yeah the, the Penrose transform fixes that, so you get a plus 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 minus signature. Right. But so we can imagine a different case where you just take any old random space and you ask its temporal extension, and see whether you can get. You know, what does the temporal extension of J random space look like? Right, right, exactly. And, and, and there should be, I mean, again, I hate to bring it back to category theory, but there should be a categorical way of thinking about that because the, basically, I think if you can describe the-, the, the Yeah, it's like a functor. I mean, this, the, the, right. the time extension is like a functor. Right, right, exactly. So, so wh whatever the functor is that, ex that maps from a Riemannian manifold to its Lorentzian extension, there should be some kind of duality that lets you extend, you know, lets you generalize that functorial map to arbitrary spaces. 